This is a proof of concept test for a mechanism for an art clock that I'm working on with my friend Dave Bruckenstein. So the, the concept is to move a bunch of balls so they uh, come up and show up out of a well in the vertical section. As you can see in the clear acrylic test I did below on the left there, uh, the balls will come up out of a hidden recess, basically, and the number of balls that come up will show hours and minutes in the final clock. So I'm building this mechanism, and I've been trying several times. As you can see, there's a clear test and then also a black one. Um, and I made the sprocket, which worked just fine. So here I am indexing everything onto my rotary index table and uh, cutting a well for the balls that will go around the sprocket removing some of the waste material inside of that section there, so that that's where the sprocket will sit. And then, uh, oops, yeah, I'm just about to make a little mistake. Yeah, okay, do over. So I took the paper off this time so I can see the raw black acrylic. This is 3 8 inch black acrylic. So again, uh, removing the waste. Uh, notice I repinned it to the other uh, center mark there, so it's, it's bolted down to the table at a different location. I was testing the balls there briefly, and now I'm making the larger radius on the rotary table, double checking it, and I just incremented it out a few thousandths to give the ball clearance, because these are quarter inch balls, and that was a quarter inch cutter, so I need to give it a few thou movement. And again, making some straight cuts here. This would be in the final clock where the balls will show up. Um, they'll be invisible down in the bottom U eventually when we build this whole thing although the clock is still in early stages of development, so we're not quite sure exactly how it's going to work, but I needed to do this proof of concept to make sure that both Dave Bruckenstein and I uh, understand how it works and that it can work reliably, and ultimately we'll be driving it with a uh, computer-controlled stepper motor, but there it is working by hand. So now I'm just going to put the motor on the back, and uh, these are some strips of 3 8 inch clear acrylic that I'm using to secure the clock so that it can't rotate. So I'm going to use some MEK, which is uh, acrylic solvent, and basically that will just weld these on there. That stuff sets very, very quickly in uh, seconds, if not a minute at most. So I'm going to flip it around here and just bond the other piece on. See that, how that stuff just flows in by capillary action there, and it welds those two pieces together very, very quickly. Putting another strip in there to raise the motor up off the back, because the motor has a little uh, bump out around the shaft, and so I just wanted to make sure that that would sit nicely there. Sticking that one down, just holding it with my fingers for a second. And now I'm going to install the motor drops into the quarter inch hole that I drilled, and then there's the sprocket that has a set screw in it that lines up with the flat on the motor shaft so it can drive it around easily. Putting all the balls in there, there are 12 balls all together. And then I made a clear plastic cover so the balls don't fall out, because I've had that happen more than once during this whole process, and I'm lucky to have found them all. So clipping that cover on with some clamps here, and the clamps make a, a handy stand to hold the whole thing up, too, so it will be vertical, of course, in the final uh, clock product. So now I've got a 9-volt battery here. I'm just going to touch it on, and wow, look at that. Works great.